Babies cry for a reason and an experienced parent may be even able to differentiate the different types of cries and what they actually mean. However, sometimes crying can be a cause of distress for both the baby and the parent and you don't know why they're crying for, they just don't stop. Uh, so tell me, Dr. Siva, why do babies cry? Um, in the early few months of life, um, crying is the main mode of communication. Mm -hmm. So the babies cry for various reasons. The most common reason is hunger. hunger. If they are hungry, they cry. Yeah. Yeah. The other few common reasons are if they feel uncomfortable, if they have a wet nappy or a dirty nappy, mm -hmm. they're going to cry. And um, if they are unsettled, yeah. if they're irritable, if they want Pain a bit of belly, want a bit of a comfort, yeah. need a cuddle, if yeah. they're feeling too cold, mm -hmm. if they're feeling Lonely. too hot, yeah. <laughs> so they need, um, they need, um, uh, they'll cry. Um, sometimes rarely they cry if they are falling sick. It mm -hmm. could be an early sign if they're developing a fever or some runny nose, cough, cold. Th those occasions also they cry. So babies just cry. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> as you said, with experience and time, um, you know, most of the mothers will be able to differentiate whether they're crying for hunger or they're unsettled or they need a comfort. Okay. So what is inconsolable crying though? Because yeah. that's where they just won't stop. Yeah. So when the babies, uh, most often when the babies cry, they settle down quite quickly with any of the strategies. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the cry can go longer uh, and it doesn't settle with uh, normal settling techniques. Um, things like, you know, swaddling or a feeding, changing nappies. So if the baby keep continuously cry um, in spite of normal settling techniques and constantly irritable, then we call it as inconsolable cry. Mm. So what, what can be done with that? Right. Again, sticking to the same principles um, of if the baby is crying, make sure the baby is not hungry, Make sure just do a quick head to toe check, make sure the baby is not having a wet nappy or a dirty nappy, you know, doesn't have any anything bothering them. Um, you know, looking for any skin rashes, making sure the baby is not having a temperature. Um, after all those things, if, you, if you're concerned if the baby is getting sick or inconsolable cry, it's a good time to um, see your medical advice, um, mm -hmm. seeing your GP. Um, there are a few occasions where um, uh, the babies can have inconsolable cry or um, typical examples are like, you know, if you have an, uh, if it's a boy and if you have an obstructed hernia, and um, any type of an acute abdomen type of picture, you can have an inconsolable cry. Okay. Yep. So what we should do is what? Go to the doctor first, they can yep. check it out. Check it out and let me know. And um, there are a few, uh, few medical conditions. The babies can have um, sort of constant irritability and whinging and crying. Um, things like food intolerance, like cow's milk protein intolerance mm -hmm. and um, reflux. Um, that again, you need to check it out with your doctor, make sure that's not underlying okay. any of those conditions. If so, then you might need to see a pediatrician. Yes, and that's yep. when people should ask to come and yep. see you. Yeah. So what happens in that instance when the doctor suspects that your baby does have yep. that intolerance? Yep. They'll come to see you and, and yeah. what happens then? So, and then we go through the whole, whole um, history, again, make sure that's what it is. And then that will be supported by examination and few signs and symptoms. And if that's if it's an intolerance and depends on what type of intolerance and how the baby is fed. If it's a breastfed baby, we ask mothers to exclude dairy and soy in their diet. Mm -hmm. If it's formula fed babies, then we ask to change it to a specific formula where the cow's milk protein is broken into smaller pieces. So that's a special formula. That, it's a special formula. Yeah, that you can't yeah. buy off the shelf. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. So, is there any other tips and advice to parents watching right now if their baby is, you know, they just can't seem to settle the baby, it's just always crying, always wanting attention. Mm. It's kind of just a stage, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and um, there are quite a few people to help you out, um, mm. um, especially in, in locally we have child health team, so they are the nurses who are based in Governor Campus. Mm -hmm. They are quite good with, um, um, you know, helping you to see feeding and settling babies. They have a day stay program called um, IMS. that's called Infant Management and Parenting Service. So they can keep your baby for a prolonged amount of hours, see specifically look into how the baby is feeding, whether there is anything wrong with the feeding techniques or yes. whether there is anything wrong with the settling techniques. So they can help you with. 
Because it's such a tough time for mums and yep. dads because it could be just a bit of, you know, gas or yep. it could be an allergy. Yeah. Uh, it could be teething coming on. Yep. Like, there's so much. Uh, and it's their only way to communicate, I guess. So as you can see, there are various reasons that babies cry. And after all, it's the only way that they can communicate to, to us if they need something. So, but if your baby's crying and it's causing you concern, and you need a, a pediatrician, then definitely get in touch with the team at Townsville Pediatrics today. Um, they'd love to help you.